Number eight asks, a vector has an x component of negative 27 units and a y component of 30 units. Find the magnitude and direction of the vector. Okay, so we have our coordinate plane. We go over 27. This is negative 27. We go up 30. So this is a positive 30. And that is our vector. Now we can make a right triangle two ways. We can make it here or we can make it here. Now the point I'm making is whenever we do this, we're going to have an angle either here or an angle here and our our answer tells us that it wants the answer counterclockwise from the x-axis so if we measure this angle we've got to add 90 degrees if we measure this angle then we've got to subtract it 180 degrees um, from what we uh, we have to subtract what we find from 180 degrees to get the answer so just think about that as you are deciding where to how to make your right triangles in these and solve for them remember that it where it's asking you to measure from and so you you know that each coordinate has 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees 360 degrees so keep that in mind so we're going to go negative 27, positive 30, and we're going to make our line like that so that we know this is 30 uh, units, this is a negative 27, and <clears throat> we need to figure out the, the, this, what this length is. So the distance equals negative 27 squared plus 30 squared. Whenever you square a negative, it becomes positive. So when we find the square root of that, we get 40.36. That 40.36 goes right here. So now we can find our angle. Um, we don't need. We didn't even need this to find the angle. Um, we could use the tangent function. Tangent equals now, we're using absolute values for our tangent because our tangent, uh, whenever our calculator doesn't know that we're not measuring this, let's, let me draw dotted lines. This imaginary triangle is what we're doing if we use a uh, positive 27. Regardless, the, uh, the angle is going to be exactly the same. So we just make it a positive 27. Tangent equals opposite over adjacent and so the tangent theta equals 30 over 27 so tangent theta equals a 1.111 so it's tangent theta so when we we want to find theta equals tangent to negative 1 times 1.1111 equals approximately 48.01 degrees. We've gone back here. Um, 48 degrees. So that's 180 degrees that way. I go back that way 48 degrees, 180 minus 48, your, your angle is going to be approximately 132. I put, um, I, I was a little bit more precise, 131.99, but that's it.